Hello students, Michael Sanchez here with Sarah. Hi. So Sarah, you were at my wedding this past weekend. Did yeah. you have a good time? Yeah. What was your favorite part of the wedding? Uh, when you guys like dance. <laughs> we had a coordinated uh, choreographed dance that my now wife put together. She teaches dance and uh, yeah, she was having me dancing up there at the YMCA and uh, what else? Uh, um, a bunch of random dances through the years, songs. It was pretty fun. All my students were there and got to laugh at me. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Very good. So uh, let's do our lesson today. Let's start with you just playing the uh, G major scale. I'm going to mention a few things to the audience out there. Actually, let's do uh, C major. Stop there. Actually, you're doing this really well. I was noticing a little bit earlier the thumb. Um, I was going to mention it to the audience out there. So I can't tell you guys how much, how important it is to keep your thumb consistent when playing the violin. So Sarah, you did really well with shifting the third position there. Um, think of your thumb and your index finger as a capo coming up and down the, the neck of the violin. Basically, the way that you find notes is feeling where you're going like into third position and without the thumb and the index moving together you're not gonna feel where the notes are supposed to be right mm -hmm. so eventually you won't have stickers so you're gonna have to feel the the shift so make sure that your thumb is even with where your first finger would go so Sarah go ahead and put your thumb in the right spot there good and make sure when you're playing like a low one like a B flat or an, an E flat that your thumb doesn't also come back with the the flat like that. So go ahead and play a B flat for us, sir. Very good. So her thumb is in the correct position, and her but her finger is farther back. Now let's go ahead and show you another demonstration of like a situation where you want to keep your thumb in the same spot. Go ahead and go to third position and play an A flat on the E string, which is on the, yep low one. Excellent. So her thumb was in the third position spot where the three normally goes, but her first finger was back. But she kept her thumb in the same spot. That's so important because right after you play an A flat, you're going to have other notes that are in normal positions, right? But if you bring it back, if you bring them back together, then you're going to not be able to find your other notes, right? Mm -hmm. So, very good. So, very important thumb position. Always try to watch that. Um, look down to see where you're at. Also, there's uh, one thing you can get at, a, at, a, at a, a local store. You can get those little corn pads for feet. You can put one in that little spot right there, and it kind of puts a, a spot where you can put your thumb. That's worked pretty well for me for students. So otherwise, just a sticker would help um, anything to show you where you're supposed to be. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.